Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. So I'm going to start by making sure my spigots are closed this time, and then install each into both buckets. This one on the right here is my fermenter, as you can see by the thermometer here I stuck on the side, which doesn't really work. But I'm not going to make the same mistakes twice. Mix up a little bit of star sand here. I'm only going to do two and a half gallons of star sand this time because I really don't ever need five gallons, and I think that's kind of wasteful. So get it up here to two and a half. And remember, the foam is also sanitizing. So anything that it comes in contact with, I got to roll my hose here end over end to make sure that it gets totally coated inside and out with all my sanitizer. And then one gallon of water here to steep my grains. Like I said, this is not a kit. So I've got a pound of Pilsen here. Dextrose, that's for bottling day. As you'll see here later, that's not entirely correct. Yeast for today. What else do I got in here? This is uh, white wheat, two pounds of that. These are my specialty grains here up front in the brown bags. Got them from Learn to Brew. Got some Golden Light DME here, and then three pounds of this wheat thing here. Yep. So, and here's my grain bill. It's actually quite small for this batch. And I need to steep my grains between 150 and 155, so I'll shoot for 152. Drop my grains very loosely this time in these included grain bags. And you can see here that it barely fits. And then an hour of this, just, you know, it's pretty boring from here on out. So just stir it ever so slightly, a little bit. Just make sure the water, you know, flows through out all the grains because I want to get all the goodness out of them. Got my boil pot there in the back going with a gallon and a half of water because it takes a bit because the stove, you know, I wish I had a burner, but I don't. So I've got to do everything here on the stove. Now on the back burner here, I get my rinse water that I'm going to rinse my grains with here, and I need to heat that to 170. So I'll stick my candy thermometer in there. Not that I actually make a lot of candy, that's just what it's called. To make sure I get it to 170, because 170 is also going to stop the grains from further converting any sugars. And move this here up to the front. Hot. Steam burn. Hot, that's better. Whew. That is hot. All right. Then place one of the grain bags in the strainer and pour some of my 170 degree water over the top to rinse all the yummy goodness into my brew pot. Mmm. And then with the other one. Try, let's see here. How am I gonna, let's get these drips. There we go. And into the strainer. You can see how much those things expanded. And then rinse these guys out. And then, of course, my small pot is going to get poured into the brew pot. Look at that. That smells pretty good. And then I need to top this off to boil at least three gallons. About like so. Now, this is a three-pound bag. I only need two pounds of this DME at this first part, so I need to weigh out two pounds. And it gets really sticky when the steam touches it. It, it tastes fantastic. So if you like licking spatulas, you should definitely lick this spoon when you're all done with it. This stuff tastes amazing. Uh, like I said, it's very sticky, so I'm just going to do this. It's going to get boiled anyway, so if the pot's dirty, it really doesn't matter. Oop, and we're going to boil. Yep, got to move it off the heat there to avoid boil over. I had the burner on high. I ended up turning it down to eight once I figured out where the heat needs to be to keep it from boiling over, because you really don't want this stuff boiling over. Got the German Hollertau hops that are going to go in my hop bag, my sock hop and into like so. Now this boil is only 30 minutes long. And it's pretty boring. It smells kind of bad now, but you can see it's going good on eight. It smells about right. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna rinse all my bags and then start to fill up the right side of the sink in preparation to cool the wort. Now here near the end, I actually, this one, this recipe called for turning the heat off and then stirring in the remaining two pounds of DME. So that's what I'm doing. And then that stuff that's stuck to the bag is definitely going to get eaten here in a minute because it's good. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. A little bit of ice here from the tray. And then I get to use my new wart chiller that I made in a previous video. Lower that in there and I can adjust the height, which I'll do in a minute. Put my return line here down into my ice bath hook up the Harbor Freight drill pump here to my drill, 
This is an old washing machine hose that I cut in half since I upgraded to braided steel hoses and simply pump the cold water through the chiller coil. All done. And let that drip and we'll take it out and put it back over here. Because now I'm below 110 and so I can siphon this into my bottle or my fermenter with my auto siphon, which I definitely recommend you have. Run it through the strainer here so that any sort of stuff doesn't get now before, I'm going to make sure I do five gallons this time because I've always had about four to four and a half. And if I'm doing all this work, I want five gallons. So I'll check my original gravity here. And as you see, it comes out a little bit low because I added more water really than I should have to get five gallons. It's 1042. I need it to go 046. So I found a thing online that said the density of corn sugar was X. And so I thought I needed 0.08 ounces per gallon mil. As it turns out, this was not enough, so I'm only adding 1.6 ounces. So you see, I ended up just dumping in the whole bag because this then ended up getting my original gravity up to 1.046. So I'll revise my formula now that I know actually how it works. And then sprinkle my yeast once I'm below 70 degrees, cap it off, put the airlock in, and then stick it in the brew house. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.